At New York's Bitcoin Center, a crowd of believers talks up the virtues of virtual currency. It is the most uh, global phenomenon in human history. The phenomenon is a high-tech form of money called Bitcoin. There is no actual coin. It exists only in cyberspace, bought and sold through online exchanges. It's not regulated or connected to any bank or government. So transferring the currency between people or merchants is fast and free. No bank charges or credit card fees. I'll buy Bitcoin. Investors who believe in Bitcoin's potential are buying and selling the currency as they would stocks or gold, hoping the value will rise. So far, it has, but with wild swings from zero to twelve hundred, and now around five hundred dollars. Bitcoins are generating a lot of buzz here, but there are plenty of skeptics too. Regulators say it's been used for drug sales and money laundering, and they're considering new rules. That has shaken the Bitcoin market and fed into the stomach-churning volatility. Bitcoin is about ten times riskier than most currencies. David Yermak is a professor of finance at NYU. He says Bitcoin isn't behaving much like a currency. It can't pay a mortgage or a utility bill. So for now, it's mostly being bought as an investment on the hope its value will go up. There just has to be a psychological belief that other people will want to pay you more for it than you paid for it yesterday. Yermak thinks Bitcoin will fade away by the end of the year, but predicts the experiment with digital money is far from over. Alexis Christopher is CBS News, New York.